Welcome now to the first episode or the second episode of how Calligraph Jones and Caudinero beef started. Shout out from wherever you're watching me from. So let's continue. Okay, so the last episode I was talking about how Octopizo influenced Caudinero to this rapper Calligraph Jones. In my uh, or in my uh, in my uh, presence, I see that Caudinero was not meant to be with uh, rapper Calligraph Jones, but as you all know, Octopizo did it so that he can make a uh, Caudinero a great rapper and also to demean or to defame rapper Calligraph Jones. So let's go to the the uh, let's get it to this a uh, second episode. So, Mr. Kenyatta was a great diss track, the greatest diss track of all time in the year 2021-2020. So my guys, what contributed for Caudinero to make that diss track or what was meant for that diss track? One, to defame Rapper Calligraph Jones. Two, to proclaim the best rapper in Africa. And three, to get that African kingship. So, did Caudinero qualify for that? Let's see if you the fans be the judges. For my thought, I can say yes. I can conclude this by saying this. Mr. Kenyatta of the best and the ever known district in Africa that I've seen has hip hop buzz that I need to see in the hip hop industry currently in Africa. But did Calligraph Jones reply? As you all know, even let me just poke around Caudinero's uh, uh, buzz. He said, if a nigga diss you, you gotta diss back. So, did Calligraph Jones diss back? It took some time for rapper Calligraph Jones to diss back Caudinero. And when he dissed back Caudinero, he, remo uh, he released this uh, with the name. It was not even a diss track, but he just tried to mention, he said in one of the verses that, please use alone, guys, please put his name out of your mouth so for the buzz section did Caudinero qualify did he have the punchlines of that district what's your thought for me rapper Caudinero and also known as the ambassador Kaulas King Dinero qualified on the punchline sector let me just give you a hint you know, for someone to diss you, he always does a research. He always does something called a research so that he can diss you from the bottom to the top. From the top to the bottom. And that's what Rapakao Dinero did. He went in every sector. The family side, his lifestyle, his fashion. Let me just, on the fashion sector, let me just drop a part. I am Sierra Leone district. I quote, I'm seeing you walk, uh, I'm seeing you rocking winter jackets. Funny though, does it snow in Nairobi? <laughs> I just got that funny because he was just poking around cow uh calligraph Jones fashion and style. Yo, so who is the greatest rapper of all time? in Africa. Kaolas King Nero has been in the industry for about like 20 years. How Nero achieved is only one award, one best international award, that's the best rapper in Africa, but in the AE USA awards that was being uh, voted for last year in 2020. And for my thought, deserve the award. Simply because, one, 
in that period, Caudinero pushed his milk. He did local and international collaborations. He even released Continental Cipher. Two, Caudinero got that ambassadorial deal, ambassadorial uh, leadership for entertainment in the Sierra Leone country. That made him to get that international recognition also.